Hello, hello everyone. So today I'm going to explain you how to run your node on uh, Windows. Um, so for the v3 version of the testnet. So the first thing you need to do is to go directly on the on the GitLab, okay? Uh, so it's gitlab.com slash massalab slash massa. Uh, when you arrive on this page, you will see, so we have a bunch of uh, directories and files and so on, but you need to go to the readme a doc. So here you have uh, many informations, uh, which are not like uh, relevant also for you because uh, it includes like uh, Linux, Mac OS and so on, how to use as well like the commands, but it's not the goal. So as you see, we have a Windows uh, executable. So you're going to download it, it will be the best. So then, up, I open it. Actually, I won't do that because as you see, it's a zip and it shouldn't be a zip. If not, it's not going to work. So first thing I'm going to do is to unzip it, okay? So unzip it there. Here, I can close this window. So here I arrive, I have my massa file. First thing you want to do is always to launch a node first. So I'm going to launch a node. Here you see, there is this detail executable. So you receive a warning from Windows. You see, you can't run it, but if you do more info, you will be able to run it. No worries, it's because uh, it's not a registered publisher or anything. Okay, because it's uh, it's uh, but uh, it's our new technology. So basically, that's what we're going to do. Up, run anyway. So it's launching the bootstrapping. It's going to ask me if I want to allow access. I'm going to access. Up. As you see, it's connecting to the different nodes. So that's the bootstrapping node. Everything seems to work. Fine. So then I go back to Massa. Now I'm going to want to launch my client. You should never close the Massa node windows. Uh, if not, it's going to stop your node and the client is not going to work. So you just up, minimize it, but we're not going to use it anymore. And as soon as you want your node to be running, you need to keep your computer up and to leave this window open. So now I came back in Massa, go to Massa client. I'll open Massa client. I have the same warning, same thing, and I will do run it anyway. As you see here, you have a lot of information. So here is basically different commands you can use to do different things. Luckily, you don't need to go through all of them because I'm going to explain you <coughs> how to use them. So the first thing we want to do is to create a wallet. So in the GitLab, at the bottom, you have different tutorials. I'm going to create a wallet. Since I did everything before using the executable, I just need to go directly for that. CTRLC. And then in the command, basically to copy paste, you shouldn't do CTRLV, you should do right click with the mouse. Up, it created me, a, you see, wallet new private key, generated my address, perfect. Then I'm going to need my wallet information. Up, I'm going to do the same. And here I have my wallet information. Me, I always save these three things, you see, um, in a notepad, just to be sure to not lose them because I will need them also later. So here that's done. Uh, my wallet is generated, okay? So then I go back to the GitLab and I don't need to do anything else. Then, the second thing will be, OK, I don't have any token. So where do I go? I will go to discord.gg uh, slash massa, which brings me here, OK? Continue to the Discord. So it's called the vanity URL. In the Discord, where do I go? I will go here to the testnet token request. I need to send them to my address, right? So what I will do, I will take my address. Don't take your private key or public key. If not, it's not going to work. You take your address and you post it in this channel here, up. And you see, it posts like a small uh, rocket. So it means I will have received my tokens. So here, if I do wallet info, what happens? Ah, it's not here yet, of course. Mm. Ah, here it is. 
sorry. So here it is. So it's because you know it didn't receive before. So here it is. When I do wallet info, you can see candidate balance. It's the number of Massa testnet token I received. So now that I received these tokens, I'm going to be able to stake them for my node. Okay, to become part of the of the network. So then on the GitLab page here, I go down to staking. In staking, here, so I have the wallet info already. Here I want to buy rolls. So what happened with the rolls? So when I buy rolls, of course, I'm not going to copy past everything here. So the command is buy rolls. Then I need to put my address without these little arrows. Then I need to put the roll count without these little arrows and then the fee. As you can see here, for the fee, it's zero. For the address, I have my address. And for the roll count, one roll is 100 massa. How much do I have? I have 100 massa. So I'm going to put by rolls my address 100, zero. So go back to my address. I go back to the client. I do by rolls. I put my address, right click, space. One, zero. Okay, sorry, I said 100 before it's one because 100 massa for one row. I have 100 massa here. So it's one row and zero fee. Up. Now it's done. You see, it's created. Then, up, I can do wallet info. And you see, it's changed. My balance, it became candidate balance, it became candidate rolls. So, so far, everything is all right. Now I want to stake my roles. So what do I do to stake my roles? So I need to use this command, OK? So I will do register private key, staking key, sorry, using the same. So here, I need to put my private key. So here is my private key. You can see it because I mean, just created this wallet for you to, to see how it works. Uh, so it's OK if I don't blur it. Um, so I will go there, register like staking key, and put my private key up to that space. Right click, up. And now, if I do wallet info, what's going to happen? As you see, my candidate role became final, final world. OK? So now, it's working. As you see, when your roles become active, you're staking. What is going to happen now is I need to wait one hour, 40 minutes for my roles to be considered as active, OK? So as a reminder, you should never close the Massa node window, OK? Which is working fine, as you see. Uh, and you see also the operations I just did in the node. You see, I did operation to buy one role, stake to one role. And now, in one hour, 40 minutes, if I do wallet info, for now it's not going to work, I will have, uh, it will have changed because the roles will have become active. Basically, so far, that's all you need to know. Uh, later on, we'll show you how to register uh, for the new episode. Uh, basically, it will be again here. Uh, so what you will need to do to have a good scoring also is to run the rootability tutorial which is there, which explains you how to make your node rootable. Um, I will make also a small video, probably. Um, and the second thing, you will have to register using the Discord bot. For now, the Discord bot is not active. So I think that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. And I hope it was uh, helpful. So basically, right now, my node is running. And uh, I have my client. I will save this. Up, Massa Tutorial Wallet, I call it. Tech. So I have all the information to continue from there for the next video. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. I wish you a great day. Bye-bye. Um,